pals this is big al welcome to big al presents and what happens when a man has too much time and a powerpoint gosh that was <laughs> awesome oh my goodness i like that yeah that was really great i i've been working on that for a while and I, it, it has literally gone through about 50 incarnations. <laughs> I finally came up with that. It'll morph, I'm sure, more. But I, I'm, I'm very happy with how that came out. It, uh, definitely evocative that, of the classic, you know, let's all go to the lobby type, you know, exactly, bumpers and that's, stuff. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. I just wanted to get a little... Uh, Get a little feel for those old things. I, of course, I use the uh, snack thing, and it's, of course, put myself in there. <laughs> just having a little fun, uh, I, you know. Just I just thought it'd be friends. Uh, good, be, good job, be, good, be job. Fun. good job. But uh, like I said, I want to welcome everyone to Films with Friends this week. The film is the 1951 sci-fi classic, iconic one of the best sci-fi movies of all time it is truly in a class by itself the day the earth stood still starring michael rennie patricia o'neill and just just one of the one of the greats and uh, of course that is the film joining me of course as you saw in the credits is the lovely Nanette Pacelli of Netters Network. How are you doing, my lady? And what doth thou imbibe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. And I'm having my usual Lipton Dye Green Tea Citrus. How are you Ooh. tonight, Al? I am doing well. I have uh, a Sprite Zero happening uh, to, to to sip on through, uh, through the film. Uh, also joining me, of course, <laughs> Cartan, the Klingon <laughs> cleric. Got it. Got it. I had to make sure I got it right. Awesome. Troy Pacelli, Papa Pacelli himself. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. What you got tonight? Uh, I'm a two fisted drinker tonight. I've got a, uh, uh -oh. I've got, yeah, I've got a, the, my uh, regular grapefruit soda and a water chaser. Ah, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> So good. I do want to thank you for working so hard on making sure that the Cosme got up. I don't know what was going on in your end, but it sounded like it might not happen, but then you got it. Got I, it up, so. yeah, I, I, I may have mentioned before, I got a, uh, a little netbook specifically to run right. Cosme off of so that it wasn't, you know, on my, my desktop, there was a, a bit of a conflict. Having two computers works a lot better. The problem is that the, the netbook that I have. Oh, just say it. It's a piece of crap. It's it's not bad for what it is. The problem is it doesn't yeah. hold a charge. So I literally open it up, you know, to, to start doing the Cosme thing for a, a stream like this, and it's dead. So I yeah. got to get at least 10 minutes of charge in it before I can really boot it up and do anything with it. The, what, I'm working on getting him a real laptop. Yeah. Can you keep it plugged in, or, or is that an option? <sighs> sometimes I do that. You're not supposed to, but I yeah. figure I might as well because, you know, I'm not I concerned mean, about the yeah. battery life given the situation it has, right. you know? Yeah, I had, when I was in the hospital, uh, a uh, a friend of mine mm -hmm. from out west, uh, I think, I don't know if you guys know that story a lot. I used to run a fan club for um, a person who was at the moonlight bunny ranch you did mention yeah 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 well uh one of the she got me a, a net a netbook so mm -hmm. i had internet access when i was in the hospital uh very God convenient her. Yeah. yeah very very nice um uh lady there uh her her working name was danica uh so i'm not going to say anything else because i uh, don't want to don't want to out her 
uh, not sure, that she'd sure. be listening or anybody would really know her, but uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a while back. And um, really, just really, like I said, it, I, I know a netbook limitations, you know, with uh, they, are, they can be finicky and very, yeah. very low end, but it kept me sane when I was, when I was uh, in, in uh, rehab and stuff like that. By the same token, uh, originally when we were getting this thing, there was a thought of getting a full on, you know, like gaming laptop because, right. you know, before the pandemic, we used to do a lot of traveling and, you know, I want to be able to play, you know, my games and whatnot and just mm -hmm. couldn't, you know, when I was on the road. And that's the other thing, this, uh, this netbook, there's no way it could handle the games that I play. So it's like, yeah. well, it got us up and running for, for, uh, you know, for our live streams, but yeah, long term, yeah. I'm gonna have to think about something else. Yeah, mine eventually gave up the ghost to just you know, it, you know, you it. know what a computer is like. I do, uh, and I but it, I like I said, it kept it kept me it kept me going, and I mean, it worked for a while after I got home and everything. But eh, you know, time time being what it is, they all eventually go kaboom. Yeah, uh, you're but, right. Uh, but it <laughs> well, just like us, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let, let's see who's joining us in the chat tonight. I did see Evelyn Hampton. Uh, yeah. First, I don't see her. Uh, must have been she must have done that a while back. Uh, saying this is a great movie, one of her favorites, I think. Uh, Lynn Green. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to this. She'll be watching it around midnight. Awesome. Uh, do I think I saw Sir Torin Clegane there. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Uh, there's Evelyn again. Good yep. evening, Mister and Mrs. America, and all the ships at sea. <laughs> right uh oh and thank you troy for liking the opening i see you there there's daniel the Birdman himself how are hello, you doing, sir uh i will i do want to say a little bit of a promotion here the Birdman's uh batman show on monday is having a special rewatch uh that i'm going to be a part of along with uh uh sir was it sir ian i think he, he goes by and they are going to be watching as with me Star Trek V. And we oh. all know what I think about Star Trek V. But I've always said I'm willing to watch any movie with my friends. So I I don't know, man. I, I used to be pretty that that's the Star Trek, is that the whales one? No, nope, it's the no. it's the what does God need with a starship? What does God oh. need with a starship. Yeah, it's I'll, I mean, uh, you know what? It'll be nice to see David Warner again, even though right. this wasn't the best role he was. God rest his soul. What a bad week. <sighs> David Al, Warner, I'm gonna, Paul I'm gonna, Sorgino. I'm going to challenge you on something regarding Star Trek V. When uh, you, now, I, now I, my, I am not as, as, I don't have a bigger wall of Star Trek V as I do with Die Hard Christmas, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but but here's here's what I'd encourage you on this on this rewatch. Go into it and I have well, open mind. Go with go with your 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 regular you know Al open mindedness and 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 look for the positive because there is a lot of positive in that in that film. There's a lot of things that you go you roll your eyes and stuff. But oh I oh I know I, I now uh, like I said my my view of Star Trek Five is basically in a comparison aspect with all the other ones, mm -hmm. but it's still better than most of the other junk I watch, you know, sometimes yeah. because, but I'm just saying in, com in comparison to the other ones, other, especially yeah, one, no, you, I, yeah, I especially like to that, the three yeah. that came before it. Yes. Or, or the, yeah, the three became before it. No, uh, yeah. it just, I'm like, really? No, you're and, right about that. And, um, you know, and my, and of course the biggest thing I go is like, the enterprise does not have that many decks yeah yeah <laughs> i know and 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 you know how i am little, about details like that yeah, it, it makes me things. crazy too but i'm telling you uh, and, and i say this about a lot of star trek stuff uh star trek online has done a, a lot to change my opinions of things that i didn't like previously um nimbus 3 is a location you could go to in star trek online and it's mm -hmm. that that you know space western kind of location and right. it's like i see what they were going with for this now i get it you know and yeah. i mean i'm gonna, like i said i'm going into it with a fresh eye willing to i'm gonna be positive about it i'm not i'm only i might put like i said i might point out the thing with the decks when it when it happens and a few other things but i'm just gonna sit there and enjoy watching 
uh, a Star Trek movie with uh, with my friends. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, Looks like so, yeah. this week. In fact, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, I was uh, on uh, Maria Tiantelli. And since I was live, you could see a, my closet door, which I have a sign that just simply says GNDN. And I'm wondering how many people notice that and if they wonder what that it's means. It's an okudogram. Goes nowhere, does oh. nothing. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. it, yeah. It was throughout Next Gen. It was an okudogram on, on, on different. Uh, I've heard. I've heard of it. I just don't. Yeah, yeah. It just doesn't readily come to my head. <laughs> cool, cool. All uh, right. Also, want to also want to welcome Cedric Moss. Thank you for for coming in here. So yeah, Day the Earth Stood Still, major, major, big film. Probably the, I think, between this and uh, the original War of the Worlds, two of my absolute favorite old sci-fi films. Uh, true sci-fi, not not right. including any monster kind of thing. You know, like them, them is a big one for me too. But um, them was yeah, uh, no, them was uh, the ants, the, was ants, the giant ants. Ah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I remember. I'm trying to remember the first time I saw this film, but I just I think it was just on television. I just happened to catch it, mm -hmm. and it's just. A great it's a great story with a great message very much ahead of its time and when you think about when it was made like dead middle of the cold war <laughs> i mean uh, had a great message i think and i think a lot of sci-fi has great messaging when you really look at it yeah the be the best well yeah the best sci-fi you know has has some great messages behind it which i think why uh things like star trek and you know star wars and things mm -hmm, like that mm -hmm. resonate so much is that they have such a a good a good message to give and it's not some downer thing you go away going wow makes you think <laughs> you know, yeah that's, a, that's definitely one of these kind of films uh with the great i say the great michael rennie uh not the great not the most well-known actor in the world but uh, i've seen him in a few things always always delivers a great performance uh but uh yeah day there so still what um what's your history with it i've seen it you've seen it i mean you know a long but, long time ago don't really remember yeah. much of it yeah i uh i am embarrassed especially with evelyn in in the in the chat she's not gonna let me live this down but i don't think i've seen it before <gasps> i oh, know i goodness. know i'm sure i've seen parts of it um, yeah. I vaguely remember it being on, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Family Classics, you know, on, right. on WGN yeah. here in Chicago. But I don't remember watching it beginning to end. And obviously, it's a pop cultural thing. So you basically know the general story of it. Yeah, you know, and of course, anybody who's ever seen Army of Darkness. <laughs> Evelyn, <Marvel>. says, <laughs> Evelyn says, fie upon you, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like I said, fans of Bruce Campbell's Army of Darkness was probably quite well aware of Klaatu Barada Nikto, mm -hmm. which was kind exactly. of like the funniest, you know, it was like, really? You know, well, gonna, Star Wars fans know Klaatu Barada and Nikto as uh, skiff guards in Return of the Jedi. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it's, it's definitely in in the culture, lots of pop, pop yep. culture references, Gort. Um, being what he is, uh, the classic sci-fi uh, UFO shape, definitely the height of the UFO craze. And um, and I think, it, despite as awesome as he is, I don't think anyone thinks of Keanu Reeves when you say the day the Earth stood still. No, uh, yeah, I, that's kind of an uh, uh, I don't want to say an abomination. What's the word I'm looking for? An aberration. Yeah, uh, I mean, I see what they were going for with it, but. Yeah. But you know, it sometimes didn't really land. You, you could throw a lot of money at a story, but sometimes if you don't do the story correctly, yeah, it's just not going to be what you want. And this is a very, it's a very simple story, and it's uh, it's got a lot of religious overtones, political overtones. It, it it really does, and of course now that with that being said, I think it's about time we like start to get the movie sure. up here. I do want to thank um, thank you, Troy, for making sure you that your your 
netbook was charged <laughs> yes <laughs> and was able we are able to get cosby if you want to watch along the cosby links at the top pin there and uh all ready to go so i'm ready i'm starting at at all zeros just before the but 20th Adam, century you what movie snack you have oh right movie snack Oh, yeah. I've got, I got some gra- said movie snacks. I got graham crackers. I've got some uh, dry cereal, little oat, sweet oat things, and I've got some wheat thins. You know, don't anyone say anything about the dry cereal. I remember my mom always, you know, bringing a, a little baggie of, of cereal to uh, to different things as a snack. Oh, yeah. I, I I tell you, it's a great it's a it's a great thing. It's it's a store brand. They call it was it essential. Let me hold on here. Uh, they call it Easy Living Cereal, crispy oat squares, uh, mm. um, no high fructose corn syrup, slightly sweet. They're kind of like um, right, you know, the little rice checks kind of things, but it's oat, and, and it's like those little mesh things. But it's got it's just it's not overly sweet, and it's kind of just good to snack on. Uh, and I always and, have graham crackers and then something in a box. Which, and this is know, not a sponsored stream. Just no, not at all. That out. <laughs> I've got good and plenty. That's Ooh. that is a true, true movie uh, movie snack. I love. You know, a lot of people don't love black licorice. I do. Yeah, me too. I, mm-hmm. I love black licorice, uh, and I know it's like a one of those. I don't know. Just a lot of people don't. I guess that's why I like Uzo. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah right right yeah but uh yep getting ready to start here and like i said at all zeros right before that if mm-hmm. everybody's ready gonna of course count down and say go okay three two one go dun dun da, da, da. and in black and white as it should be that's right so i mean you know like i said all the turner people they just throw color at stuff it just doesn't work as well oh god i love a theremin wow there's uh, a there's a, a gal on uh youtube that that uh she's a professional theremin player and she is really good cool oh patricia neal i always say o'neill i can never I have a hard time saying Neil without O'Neill. <laughs> Sam Jaffe always. Uh, Francis uh, Bavier, if anybody Locke remembers. Martin. Who named your kid Locke? It used to be a more common name. Really? But Locke, mm-hmm. And Locke Martin being Gort. He oh, was right, a, right. He was an usher at Grauman. Uh, groundman's chinese theater back then it was probably yeah. groundman's yeah uh and he was like seven foot tall wow. and they found him and they're like i think we have gort and they put him in the suit and a lot of stories about the suit like trying to hide the lacing like depending on the angle so he looks sleek wow, 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 wow. Oh, almost at almost at Earth here. Yep. But but yeah, th- just nothing says sci-fi like a theremin. And but, I love uh, the uh, the like animated opening. You know, it's it it, it really is. Yeah. Um, but it was good animation. It wasn't cartoony, so it really had that verisimilitude to it. Yeah, but I do want to give you know we're talking about the music. I got to give credit to Bernard Herman. Yes, I mean a great great artist there i like that wind that up wind that phone up oh a wind up phone yep holy christmas a buzz bomb i just love the old big tables they used to have of course making sure it lives up to the term the day the earth stood still with it right it's got to be a global thing off. yeah
Yeah. So Torga guy saying his birth name was Joseph Lockard Martin Jr. Differentiated him from his father. That's fair. Evelyn, Evelyn saw a Gort suit at Seattle Sci-Fi Museum. Top of my head was about level with his chest. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yeah, he was about seven foot, I think. But they had a model of him for when he just stood there, which was even taller. Yeah. I also love, and this was actually more common uh, back then, the story kind of starts in Medius Res. I mean, we're in the middle of the action here. There's no buildup. You don't get to know the characters. None of that. It's just boom, you know? Yeah. Stuff going on. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Sir Torrance said that his birthday was Joseph Luckhard Martin Jr. Yep. yep. You guys wants to differentiate him from his father. I did not know that. Thank you for the trivia. And, and all, uh, the stuff, all the DC stuff was secondary filming. None of right. the actors were actually in DC. Right. It was all shot in Hollywood. <laughs> well, right, because it's all reactionary shots by bystanders and whatnot. Yeah. I love old. I love you old. You said that the first thing popped in my head stuff. was just like the Kennedy assassination. Well. Right. Because people were all out taking pictures of the president and stuff. Exactly. Now, when you see the people running away, it kind of looks funny because it's sped up. Yeah. The reason they did that is like the actor could not get them to go with the sense of urgency he wanted. Yeah. So he said, he said, screw it. We'll just, we'll just yeah. it up. Even though he knew it was going to look a little weird. I love a UFO ship. The classic yeah, the flying movie. saucer. Well, and bad. again, great animation here. Mm -hmm. Right down to getting the shadow and everything. Of course, I mentioned we're you know we're about to see Klaatu come out, played by Michael Rennie. Mm -hmm. Two other names were associated with the casting. Claude Rains and Spencer Tracy. Interesting. Claude Rains couldn't do it because he had a Broadway commitment. And they thought Spencer Tracy just too well known. They wanted someone who would seem alien to an American audience. That makes sense. And they went with Michael Rennie, and they were so glad. You know, the director even said, I'm so glad Claude Rains was not available. I do want to say WMAL is. A DC station. Still Is to it? This day. Channel Channel 7. ABC. <laughs> well, I like it when they put in those details like that where it's an actual thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if you've ever watched Dragnet, every detail was authentic, including the extensions on the phones and all that. Wow. Because the, um, was it Jack Webb, insisted that everything was authentic. That's good. So if you actually dialed one of those extensions on the phone, you would get whoever that extension was supposed to be for. I used to love watching Dragnet. And no one can play a baseball game. <laughs> nope. Especially the Democrats. Did you hear about the congressional game that they had the other day? Yes, I did. And Republicans ten, Democrats zero. <laughs> yeah, and I also heard about the the Democrat flipping them off and just behaving really bad. Uh, Drew Pearson, real news anchor. Yeah, I, I was watching for that, Evelyn, because you'd mentioned earlier that real news announcers were used. Yeah, in fact, a lot. Of, uh, I think a lot of the things that they use here at the beginning are actually 
those people. Yep, yep. And uh, well, it's like how many times have you seen a movie and it's like this is Howard Cosell? Well, it's really him. <laughs> and it's like, I mean, and I have to wonder if this is what was being homaged when V, the the series, used Howard K. Smith for uh, you know the the news footage and coverage of what was going on every week. And I love how it's so smooth and then it starts to open. The way they did that is they puttied it and made it look absolutely thing. And then when it opened, it, it broke the seal and just. That's actually like quite that. clever. Yeah. And then when they show it closing later, it's just reversed. Oh, they yeah. Just reversed it. Oh, I love it with Spaceman go. more Silver LeMay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what you would say if you were coming to invade us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if like, like I said, if he's doing this, they wouldn't have been they'd be he'd be blowing you we'd be blowing them up if you if they were you know yeah 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 if i were an alien i'd be already attacking i wouldn't be exactly it's not like you got to be a martian and be jerks about it you know for, for mars attacks <laughs> exactly evelyn's so right Love the people in the park dressed up, ladies in hats, high heels and jewelry, mm -hmm. guys in suits, neckties, and hats. Yeah. What the hell, dude? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> Love the music. <laughs> Again, that Thurman. Mm -hmm. I look to see how like they're running away <laughs> this from the fast motion again. <laughs> well, they know they screwed up. Or someone did. Guy in the tank screwed up. It's like they were gonna court martial your butt. I'm guessing he couldn't see through that helmet. He it looked like, he, it looked like maybe a little bit, but are you are you talking about Gordon? the actor in in that outfit? Probably. Not. Well, actually, like this shot was uh -huh. done with a bust. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Like I said, target the weapons, not the people. The whole tank. Um, there's usually more than two people in a tank. They jumped out. Yeah, they got out. No, they had two people at the top. Yes. There's usually a gunner underneath. Oh, oh, right, right. You're right. There should have been a third person in that tank. Yeah, I know. I've been in tanks. Probably inspired the Cylons a bit too from Battlestar Galactica. Oh yeah, probably. Oh, eye going back and forth. Yeah, I don't have a gun to go for now. Well, you did bring a spare. <laughs> yeah. Did he say Walter Reed Hospital? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's the another. Shot him should be court martialed. Well, yeah. He he would definitely be receiving some disciplinary action. That's right. He acted without orders.
cool to just have one name. Right. Yeah. Just get my name legally changed to Al. <laughs> But you know that's that's aliens. Aliens have one name, yeah. you know, Spock. You know, which isn't really that far. He didn't really know that much then. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. It's like Michael Reddy had a great voice. Mm -hmm. He was in um, The Robe and Demetrius and the Gladiators playing playing St. Peter. Mm. Just ha has a, that great holy yeah. <laughs> feel to him sometimes. I appreciate that, but you know. What gets me is he doesn't even come in and apologize to him. We're so sorry this happened. Right. Right. It's like we're just gonna forget that one of our guys shot you. Well, they may have already done that. True. So it's not not like today where you can just go on, you know, yeah, CNN or Fox or something. True. Yeah, it would actually be kind of kind of easy. In fact, it would be hard to yeah. prevent information from getting out instantly. Yeah. He'd be, he'd be, he'd have been on blast day one, you know. Yeah. Sitting there, they'd have it with a little scrolling thing, you know, yep. at DC. What year is this supposed to be? I'm it's contemporary 1951, 1951 I guess. Yeah. July of 1951. Yeah, they were black even then. Yeah, I mean, you think think about it. He's he's an older politician, of course. Yeah. There's so many hoops and regulations. We talk and... about the swamp today, but the fact is, it's, it's not it's significantly a, different. You know, it's been a swamp day one, man. Yep, in some way or another. Oh, the grape cracker broke. The alien did it. Damn you, Gort! You broke my cracker. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the other one broke. Both of them broke. Darn it. Oh, well. They all go in the same place. I used to eat oyster crackers like they were candy. Oyster crackers? Yeah. Oh, I just really yeah, like oyster good. crackers. <laughs> Quite literally.
So he's middle aged. <laughs> yeah. They don't smoke. <laughs> Smoking all in these a old hospital. movies, everyone smoked. Well, 1951, and yeah. And they're in a hospital smoking. <laughs> be like McCoy in uh, Star Trek 4 yeah. <laughs> that old lady I grew a new kidney <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> take two of these call me in the morning He looks familiar. I'm trying to... I know. I thought that when he came in. Let's see. He's hurt. Actually, I don't understand why they're not doing it in New York with, with the at the UN building. That's what it's for. That's what we pay for it for. Oh, pish posh. We pay for a lot of things that they don't use. Yeah. Maybe it's Frank Conroy, the Oxbow Incident, Grand Hotel, Little Minister. He just might have one of those faces. I mean, I've seen the Grand Hotel, but I doubt that I'd be remembering him from that. Okay, I just love this guy's cheekbones. Right? I think for the old guy, it's the hawk nose and the bushy eyebrows. He's like every old guy in every movie. Well, yeah. That is true. And that is true. He does He does just look like generic old man. Right. Yeah. I think I will smile. You're like, like that'll hold me. Yeah, exactly. Well, if it makes you feel better, okay. <laughs> okay, notice you call him a prisoner. He shouldn't be a prisoner. He should be an, a guest. Exactly. That you all shot. I think there's a lot of uh, assumptions that they're making here for the, the purpose of expediency of telling the story. I think some elements of it are a bit exaggerated. Yeah, and it's the 50s. You know, like yeah. I said, there's a different... A, a different social mind. They they hadn't had decades and decades of, of sci-fi, you know, to learn from. That's true. Although I could also argue that we've had plenty of fiction uh, giving us warnings that our society is completely ignoring. Where did you get the suitcase? Same place he got the suit. Yeah, I guess. Nah. <laughs> Major carpet. There you go.
Hey, he just littered. Gotta love a newsman with a fedora. Yep. I love the lighting of that. And what just... makes him a bitter enemy? Well, it's it's fear yeah i mean you know it's that they've seen what the robot can do right of course if you do a deep dive into the re religious uh analogies of the of the film using carpenter Yes, exactly. It's is quite significant. And just very talkative. Yep. <laughs> More smoking. Yep. Having breakfast in a full suit. God, what a different time. Who was that, Aunt B? Yep. Francis ah. Bevier, yep. Aunt B is in this film. <laughs> I like he almost finds it amusing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Even back then. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I like I like the fact that Aunt B thinks it's the Russians. <sighs> well, most people would back then. Yeah. Well. That terrified them more than the concept of being attacked from space. I see a lot of, uh, you know, uh, stuff on the internet about people seeing what is probably just drones and stuff. And it's like, 
you know, it's it's uh, it's spaceships. And then someone else says, no, it's China. You know, it's like, yeah, nothing's changed. That would be swell. And Steven's played by Hugh Marlowe. He was he was in a lot of sci-fi stuff. Earth versus the flying saucers and what was the other one he was in? I guess that would make him a uh, resident uh, expert in aliens, huh? I tell you. I always love the concept of an alien who is coming here knowing a little bit from our broadcast, but actually observing as one of us. And to go to a place like Arlington with all these people who have died in war. <laughs> Good deal there, kid. Right. <laughs> well, but that's assuming they're real. He could be getting ganked here. They could just be. Yeah. But, but I mean, we know. Yeah, they are real. Even cubic zirconia are worth something. Well, that's true. Probably more than two dollars. <laughs> and back then, getting into the movie theater is probably about twenty-five cents. True. True. That's the kind of man we need today. Yeah. Yeah, I do have one problem with this kid. Hmm. He's wearing a Yankee hat in DC. <laughs> yeah, have, what's he doing wearing a New York hat in he should, uh he should have a senator's DC. hat. Yeah. I always thought it's funny there's this old Doctor Who mm -hmm. where they're I think they're back in I don't know when like 30s or 40s and the guy has an orioles hat but it's like a trucker hat with a little connection in the back like they didn't yeah. have way back then <laughs> like just get him an oriole hat no matter if it's anachronistic now that's how they used to do dr who back then oh yeah Yeah.
<laughs> that guy looked like Mickey Rooney, but I know it wasn't. Yeah. No. It's like don't want to, don't want to hear that kind of thing. Yeah, we want sensationalistic. Gosh, you're it's so true. Nothing has changed. Nope. Oh, the ones who are who are doing the army men are actually National Guard because the army didn't want to do the film, and the National Guard wanted to do anything they could to make the army look bad <laughs> <laughs> which I, I found very very amusing in my research uh <laughs> <laughs> It's almost it's a read. little it's still at large. There's nothing to read. Yeah. It's almost like a little ET, the extraterrestrial kind of vibe going on. Little boy finds an alien. <laughs> My friends. Him. Another great actor coming up. All that is real, I heard. All the physics on the board, I would imagine, yeah, is is actually legitimate, legitimate uh, physics equations. <laughs> I go, oop, got it wrong. The part looks like it says, oi. <laughs> <laughs> oi. Oi. Solving for X. Nice handwriting for you. Yeah. That was real. And that's a real address at the time. I wonder how many people showed up at that address just to see. Just like everybody who called um, 867 867 <laughs> yeah. Jenny, Jenny. Gotta love them old cars.
She was the original Mrs. Walton. Oh, really? Yeah. Remember the uh, before they had the show the Waltons, they did the Christmas movie. I did not uh, remember, but yeah. She was yeah. She played the mom instead of uh, Michael. What was it Michael Lerner? Yeah, Michael Lerner. Yeah, she was she was the mom in the original one when they were worried that their dad was not going to be able to make it home for Christmas. Yeah, The Homecoming, A Christmas Story, Olivia Walton. Maybe it's none of our business. <laughs> <laughs> Very trusting mother to leave your son with someone you literally just met. <laughs> it really was a different time. Sam Jaffe. Yep. <laughs> Here's where the scientist differs from the politician. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, true. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, what would your first question be if you were him? True, yeah. We still haven't really done that, except no. maybe probes. He's a scientist, so he's yeah. smart.
<laughs> I do like that he does have that dark side to him. Yeah. He's like, my patience is wearing thin. <laughs> Ah, oh, Central's Maws. Ah, oh, the 50s America, where you could literally walk into a military blockade. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I kind of... This kind of thing kind of happens today. You see those small little nations that are getting uppity. Yeah. And the U.S. comes in and it's like, chill out. <laughs> well, and, it, and it, in a more positive way, the same concept was part of the whole Star Trek uh, Prime Directive, right? Right. Leave them alone until they're getting ready to, you know, explore space. And then you kind of got to reach out to them because they're going to become part of the you know, galactic Intergal community. Yeah, the galactic community. And you got to have some kind of semblance of order. <laughs> That's a game you don't see many people playing anymore, Rummy. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. I like that. Not excuse me or anything, just the oh, yeah. Mr. Carpenter. Get a little possessive there, buddy. But at the same time, she's also got her own reservations in the back yeah. of her mind. Yeah. <laughs> I 
it's kind of sad that this kid's best friend is an adult that he just met. Well, but it also speaks to the way kids tend to think about such things. You True. know, who, who their best friend is might change on a day-to-day -day basis. He's an inquisitive little kid. And that has the undoing of a lot of sneaky people. An inquisitive <laughs> kid. Sweet. That's a nice little setup there. Yeah, I used to have uh, something like that without the terrain. Yeah, he just saw the lights on in his room, so he knew he was lying. That's a torque again. That's a train that doesn't need tracks. They found Doc Brown's. Other yeah, guys. exactly. Like I said, an inquisitive kid. All those brick sidewalks. Yeah, I mean, what happened to those? Is it just... We got lazy. It's easier to pour cement than it is to lay bricks. And the I think so. All that great. Right. Easy, easier and cheaper. I don't know if it's cheaper, just easier. It is yeah. cheaper. It's far less labor, yeah. but it's not as nice. Yeah, it's like I'm planning uh, or making plans to have a patio put in for us. And I told our contractor that I would like to have like a herringbone pattern with brick. So he's going to give me an estimate of what that's going to cost so we, I can do that. But it's not going to be till next year. I guess there's a season to put in patios and the season's over. Yeah. I didn't know there was a patio season. I didn't either. <laughs> well, the things you the things you find out. They put up that wall awfully quick. Well, when you've got the uh, when you've got the military, uh, you know. Focused on doing something, you can do things pretty fast. When you got politicians dragging their heels, it takes a long time to build a wall. Well, that flashlight's awfully powerful.
It's using Morse code on him. It was like Morse when shot in space, it was short, four short, one long, and then three quick. Cedric Moss said, "Every everything, everything's now suspicious. A man with a few diamonds, and everybody thinks he's a Russian spy. Forget that a lot of men who make decent money could give their wives a few diamond rings, small accessories, a whole necklace, such as high-earning businessmen, etc. True, true, true. But then you'd start to question why that high-earning businessman." is uh, staying in a boarding house. Now you doubt the kids seen everything. Yep. Interestingly, this set is plausible within the, the confines of what we saw outside. Maybe a little bit bigger on the inside, but, you know, not much. It's a yeah. I think they base it on, um, oh, I want to say Frank Lloyd Wright. Oh, yeah, I can see what that. Read something like that. Found now some cool alien language. I'll tell you. I mean, it's it's not as sophisticated as Klingon, but I guess it'll suffice. Evelyn said housing was hard to come by in the post-war USA. Some homes and apartment buildings, subdivided rooms to put more people in them. Yeah, my, my grandmother used to own a building that was like that. It's like, Mom, I haven't even been to bed. How can I be dreaming? Right. I hate it when adults don't listen to kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the design of the spaceship was reportedly based on the interior of Frank Lloyd Wright's office building. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Stupid. Yes, I don't think going in his room. That's his room. Just leaving his money around. Yep. Man, that guy's fingers are dirty. More ways than one now. Yeah. The thief. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> that is actually a very reasonable guess, you know? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> She did. He did tell you. I exactly. It makes me wonder if Bobby's going to go to school and tell everybody exactly what he saw. Right. Trapped in an elevator with an alien. <laughs> this would get attention. Yeah. When you basically shut the world down. It is a day the earth stood still. Yep. For a half hour, apparently. Yep. It's the Spice Man. That's what it is. <coughs> Gosh, if I freaked out every time the electricity went out. Goodness gracious. I've been stuck in an elevator when I was eight months pregnant. And I didn't freak out then. Now that would be interesting to be, be stuck in a roller coaster. Yeah. Pops. <laughs> Good. See, none of this stuff freaked me out. Well, and here we are, how many decades later, and our grid is still vulnerable. 
people are continuing to come you know warn against the possibility of uh, electromagnetic pulses taking out the grid and how we'd be completely helpless The phone yeah. Work, dummy. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza. <laughs> That was a quick half hour. Okay, so I'm assuming her her watch would be a wind up, and that's why it still worked. I guess so, yeah. She t he told you he's going to the jewelers. They never listen. For now. It's like you're all the ones that are trying to make him out to be the bad guy. I like, I, like, yeah. I like to run somewhere, but I don't know where to go.
Oh, you just blew it, buddy. Yep. <laughs> you okay, need more drink? Yeah. <coughs> yep. Your priorities were all screwed up, buddy boy. Well, when you realize that literally the existence of life on the planet is in immediate peril. Oh, by the way, guys, Illinois, I hear they have new billionaires. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I Have they, do you know if they've identified the person that got the ticket? No, nah, I just heard Illinois. Yeah. And I was I sitting there, I was like. Ticket, but for some reason, I couldn't buy one. I, I like, can guarantee you that person's going to get their money and get the hell out of this state. <laughs> I was like, man, $1.28 billion. Oh, so they got the extra ball too? Because I think it's like, if you get like the six numbers, you get like a million or two. But if they you got, get the extra was, ball, then you get the billion. Yeah. yeah the, 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 whoever, some, one person in Illinois won the big, the big pot. Well. But the... The reality is, though, they only get half of that, really. Oh, what? oh, well, that's too bad. Six hundred million could barely survive on that, I guess. Well, I'll tell you, a billion dollars doesn't get you what it used to. No, but I'd be happy with a million. The way the way I could, the way I can budget, I bet I could last three life, three, four, five lifetimes on it. Well. We'll see what happens in the next, you know, three to five years. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Things keep going the way it is. That one, that one point two billion dollars would be, uh, well, three tanks of gas. I was just going to say, if you don't have to worry about gas, you're probably okay. Oh, uh, now the little boy's telling everybody and their brother. I'll be right back, guys. And I like how it's not a big chase scene with things getting uh, run over and everything like that. Yeah. Like in the modern day, like they be racing through the streets and He's more than a robot. <laughs> Klaatu Parada Nikto. Or as Bruce Campbell would say, Klaatu Parada Vuera. <laughs> right.
kind of reminded me of when they were chasing AJ. <laughs> I would love to have an old Jeep like in the from the fifty forties and fifties. Yeah. people making stupid decisions. Yep. Gort knows. And he's not happy. No, he is yep. not. Dude, your rifle ain't going to do jack. Did Borden take out the rifle that time? Yep. First time I was being nice. you. You had a, you got your warning. Now we're done. I was yep. nice until it's time to not be nice. Mm -hmm. Is that a roadhouse? Thing? Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes, it was. Go tell them before someone shows up and stops you. Right, exactly. She who hesitates is lost. Tell him. Oh, come on. The Evelyn's talking about in the original source material, Gort was not Klaatu's servant. No. Gort was the master. Gotcha. And he was also named Gnut. <laughs> G-N-U-T. Now suddenly she's all calm.
but the actor was not strong enough to actually lift her. So I think that all these scenes here, he's carrying like a dummy. Oh. Okay, if he takes her away, her son doesn't have a mom anymore. Well, he doesn't take her away. He just kind of puts her there for now. Okay, Cetra's Moss. It's all fun and games until evil wants to spread itself beyond its own borders. Yeah, right. Yep. Oh, was it from Jurassic Park? It's all ooh and ah. And, and then there's running and screaming, yeah. yeah. Okay, there, Al? Yeah, grab cracker dust. Yeah, You're not supposed to snort it, Al. <laughs> but that, but that, that's that how it gets good. that extra sweetness. Yeah, that's right. Did he just lock her up in the spaceship? I don't think that's going to work, buddy. I mean, you can try. Well, I think that's, they're worried about exactly what's happening. Again, we're getting into the uh, Christ analogy here. Yeah. I guess Central's boss is like, and the problem isn't space flight or using nuclear power. It's the danger that comes from a specific group of humans who do not know how to behave themselves. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> right. I'd say almost the majority of people now don't know how to behave themselves. Nah. Well, it always, to me, it comes down from that one line of men in black. It's like people, uh, like a person is smart. People are stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't think enough people understand the whole crowd mentality. Yeah. I love these old sound effects like this. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and you can see him breathing again.
Oh yeah, and of course he'd still have the blood stain on his suit coat. Yeah. Well, it's good continuity to do something. You right, know, make right. sure that happens. I love how he, how the, he used Almighty Spirit. Yeah. Kind of, you know, not God, not right. Allah, not Buddha, or you know, whatever term, just the Almighty Spirit. But the idea that an alien would have a concept of God, especially yeah. one so advanced, that was saying something. True. I love this speech. I'm expecting to see Ben 10 show up. <laughs> <sighs> oh, is this guy a plumber? I just love it. That complete silence yeah. showing all the different faces of all the different kinds of people. It's like, what's your claim to fame? I played a robot. No one ever saw me. Yeah, right. You know, though, it's still, that'd be pretty cool street cred. Right? <laughs> I would have loved to be Gort and be known as Gort.
I mean, look at Peter Mayhew. <laughs> You're all scared enough to run away from your chairs, but not scared enough to get out of the perimeter. I like to torque again, so we don't get into Starfleet. Is that what you're saying? Well, I think he means uh, the United Federation of Planets because uh, yeah. Starfleet Star was the military. Yeah, Starfleet is Gort. <laughs> right. Gotta love that. The end. Exactly. And this is the way they should end it. You don't need to specify what happens. It's better that the audience be able to stop and think about what happened. Yeah. What, and, what do they want to believe or what would they want to see happen? It has a clear message. Straighten up and fly right or we will destroy you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, colloquial, you know, a little bit harsher term but uh what's interesting is they said okay now the decision's up to you didn't say how long they have didn't say how to contact them once the decision was made just said decision's up to you i well, was think i was think i was gonna say i was thinking about that too but the fact is they've already been monitoring us so they know our language they know our history they know all this stuff about us from our radio transmissions they can yeah They'll they'll be yeah. listening. So what we do yeah, so, radio transmission? No, they'll just I mean they'll they'll hear as people talk, you know, with the with news and and commentary going on. They, they'll hear, they'll know. And they're more concerned once we have the power to go out of our planet. They're like, what we do here. That's all. That's up to us. But when we start going out and messing out, out with other planets, that's the issue. And if we do it, we better act right. Yeah, good point. Because Gort and his buddies are not going to take it uh, very well if we act like buttheads in space. Well, and, it's it's like oh, mom always said, if you don't behave yourself, I can't take you anywhere. Everyone Hampton loves the loves this mm -hmm. movie. Yeah, it's a, it's an all-time favorite. It's it's classic sci-fi. It's not uh shoot 'em up, it's not spaceships, you know, flying all over the place. It's got a simple message. Uh, very rem like I said, it, it, it's very reminiscent of ET. Although ET had a lot of special effects and stuff, but it, it's like that single alien going around finding out um, and he has something to bring us. Although ET was poor, he got left behind by accident, but. You know, well, it's a, it's a simple earlier, story. They make a great movie title, Buttheads in Space. Buttheads <laughs> in Space. <laughs> Buttheads in Space. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that is the day the Earth stood still. Um, just one of the great sci-fi films of all time and always a favorite here. Uh, of course, next week, is something completely different. What is next week, Better? The Breakfast Club. The hey, Breakfast hey, Club. hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you forget about our stream. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. That'll be that'll be a lot of fun. What's the breakfast? That was John Hughes, was it? I think so, wasn't it? Was it? I think so. I, Pretty sure. I, I forget. Like I, know all those ones. I know it's the Brat Pack, but I'm just wondering. It sure is, yeah. Uh, let's see here. But that's a good one. And uh, Yeah, director John Hughes, writer John, okay. John yeah, Hughes. Yeah, I, 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 I thought it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, yep, yep. That is next week on Netters Network. In two weeks, a Big Al Presents. We are into August, and we are going to go ape in August. And we're going to start with the 2018 film 
starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Rampage. We're going yeah. from the 50s up into this century and uh, going to have a lot of fun. That is a fun movie. Have you guys seen that? Oh, yeah. We went to the theater yeah. to see that. I, I was... can't say it's Chicago. It, it takes place in Chicago, right? Oh, yeah, it does. I'd actually yeah. forgotten that. Yeah, the they, they, um, the end scenes are in Chicago, so that should be a lot of fun. We'll probably hear a lot about uh, that. So that's going to be in two weeks on my channel, but next week on Netter's channel, we are going to be watching The Breakfast Club. Um, as far as my channel, I'm planning to possibly once in a while do a Friday night earlier stream than uh, than last call. Try try to end it before last call comes on, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe do some fantasy films. Call it Fantasy Friday. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything from like these old Sinbad films, Jason the Argonauts, up to like Deathstalker and Willow and um, anything like any any kind of a fantastical kind of thing uh got a couple people i've talked to of course if you guys are ever want to do it although i know friday night would that would make friday night a heck yeah. of a long night to be streaming for you guys but uh it's not going to be an every friday thing just be once in a while i'm not sure when the first one may be but just you know keep an ear out but yeah. uh, uh definitely definitely something i want to do uh of course tomorrow night uh, you guys doing some geeky geezer? Right? Oh yeah, and yeah, as you as you mentioned earlier, got a lot of a uh, lot of in remembrance. Yeah, uh, that Paul Paul Sorvino, week. David Warner, Tony Dow, and the one that hurt me the oh, most, God. Bernard Cribbins. Oh, that that hurt, man. I yeah, I mean I, I, I mean if any of you watch Doctor Who and didn't love. Him. Wilfred Mott, yeah. Oh, God, what a great character and a great actor. And he was almost a doctor at one point. Yes, he was. He was. Consideration, I think, at the time when, uh, was it Pertwee or Baker? In that, in that timeline area, I think. Yeah, were... somewhere in there. He had played in uh, the the Dalek Invasion of Earth, right? Uh, the the movie with uh, with Peter Cushing. Um, I forget the role that he played in that. Um, and they were like, yeah, no, he'd make a good doctor. And it just didn't come to pass. Yeah. But um, he, he really did create a wonderful character uh, on his time there in Doctor Who and definitely be, rem definitely be remembered. He, but he was a, he was a relief. He did a lot of great, great stuff. And they are not, not, you know, not a lot of people in the U.S. know it. Yeah, but Bernard Cribbins, he was, he was, he was something in England, man. That was that's that's a sad loss. Uh, any other topics, you know? Uh, we will be talking. Uh, we will of course, be talking about Disney and uh, the Hulu hubbub that was going on, and some other things happening at Disneyland. Say so that took off yeah. as Hulu hubbub. Hulu hubbub. Hulu yeah, hubbub. exactly. Um, talking about netflix and will they or won't they be editing uh stranger things before now it goes I, to dvd and stuff yeah, now, I, now i think they're saying they won't well we're, we're gonna hurt. we're gonna get into the details on that it's kind of both yeah you know? they're i i mean I, I know the one thing they were talking about the season one jonathan being a creeper with his camera thing yeah that's but, not uh, that they're not changing but yeah, not there change. are other things they have changed and you know, you know how I feel about owning physical media and yep. the whole death of the author concept. So, yep. yeah, we'll be touching on that. There's some game news. There's actually a lot of game news. We're gonna have to rein in uh, Aged Boomer on that because he he he's the gaming guy. And uh, um, Troy Troy Danet, I mm -hmm. was wondering, did you see the post that we lost a KAI member this week? We did. Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, you know, and, and, and it's something that Boomer and I have been talking about, too, between celebrities, people we know. You know, we just had uh, uh, an old friend of ours from church. His wife just passed away. And it's uh -huh. like, 
I guess we're getting to that age where, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, just everyone I, around us is, you know. I mean, well, t- Tuesday will be um, my mom's birthday. It'll, it's the first birthday yeah. without her. She would have been baby. Yeah, yeah. And uh, got her. So, you know, Tuesday, kind of give a thought to uh, Big Al's mom, Julia. And uh, I've my uh, I talked to my priest. He's going to remember her in the mass that he says on Tuesday. So good that that'll be good and uh like i said i see her every day got her picture there walk by her and, and i show her my food if i do a really good job on an omelet i'm very proud of it i'll show it to her there it's you like, go. check it out mom isn't that cool I'm very proud of it i'm very proud of my of, of when i do eggs well for some reason to me an egg is there is a skill to a it. skill there and when i yeah. do it right and it looks nice i'm very pleased with myself um, I don't think I've ever made omelets, but I make an incredible scrambled egg. She does. Oh, yeah. I I love I love a good scramble. I made some the other day, but um, and I make I think I make a for me I make a, I, a good omelet. When I uh, the way I like omelets is I can make that very well, and um, but I always had an issue with eggs over easy to get them without breaking them or anything like that. Yeah, just right. And a couple times lately, uh, I got them right. I've been so proud of myself. But you know, you, know, you can't always you can't always do them right. But uh, I've well, I've seen a number of like in quotes hacks for it. But honestly, the easiest one there's there's two two little tips I would offer you. First, when you break the egg in the frying pan, cover the frying pan. That yeah. starts the other side, you know, firming up a little bit. Also. If it's breaking up on you, you're not cooking the bottom long enough. Yeah, yeah, so, I, I I do it. I, I don't have I don't have a, a top for a pan. Oh, okay. Sadly, um, I need, if I you're careful, you can use a plate or even another pan. Yeah, it's I, I, the I, the logistic my logistics are I dig aren't it great. Right, right. But uh, yeah, I just I, I do it right. Um, I've done it right and. Uh, Depending on when I wake up and what I feel like in the morning, I might try it again because uh, I've got I got myself some corned beef hash and uh, Ooh, there you go. I always there like I always like a couple of a couple of eggs over easy on top of that and break you know have the yolk all mixing in there. God, oh, that's good. Yep, good stuff. I got a tip for you: bacon spam. Yep, yeah. I've had that. Really I have had that. It is good. That is true. I've got. Do I have spam? I don't think I have any spam right now. Joy will chop up into some. small pieces, put in some potatoes, and make me a hash that way. Yep. It's yeah, so it's yum. Good. I've had I had a spam curry rice once. Oh, that sounds good. It was, it was cut up spam. It had peas in it and rice and some and curry mix. And I I I don't know what happened to that recipe. I've got to find it one day because someone made it for me. Or they made it. I, they gave me a little bit. I, I tried it. It was so good, and I couldn't believe. And they gave me the recipe, and I can't find the recipe. Mm. See, I'd but, have to uh, do without the peas, though. I don't like peas. Yeah, I love I love vegetables. I really do. Oh, wow, I love vegetables. Thinking, it's just I don't I like got peas. Off, wow, God, I got off track here. <laughs> we were <going> week, <laughs> you know, I got off to the food, man. I, that's that's. Fine. It's a good thing it was a short movie this week. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's Sunday night. Uh, geeky users, keep an eye out for 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 them about nine o'clock on Age of Boomers channel. Uh, Monday night, Sound Engraver. Uh, no book study this week on Tuesday. I think uh, that's going to be the following Tuesday. We're going to be finishing up Shatterpoint. Uh, oh, also Monday in the afternoon. I'm not quite sure when. I uh, wish the Birdman were here. He can. He could tell me. I don't know if it's going to be 12 30, 1 30, something like that. It's going to be an afternoon rewatch on his Batman show on the soundtrack on soundtracks of the Birdman. We're going to be watching Star Trek V, and yep. I'm going to I'm gonna power through it. <laughs> we're going with a positive attitude, trying to be good. But, but uh, I'm just looking for it. Uh, you know, like I always like It's not a great movie, but it's better than a lot of people give it credit yeah. for. I, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's got some issues, but it's, you know, it's still, it's, it's Kirk and the crew. What can I yep. say? Uh, and like I said, uh, nothing on Tuesday, Wednesday, um, 
soundtracks of Birdman usually does rewatch. Not quite sure what they're doing this week. Uh, haven't heard. Uh, Thursday, nothing on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Nothing on, and Friday, we got uh, Last Call. Friday night, Last Call. Uh, Netta and I will be celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations ahead of time. Yep. And it's uh, the fifth or the third? Third. Well, our, our anniversary is the third, but okay. Friday is, you You're know, celebrating. Yeah, exactly. So that's what so I'm pro- So have a happy, have a very happy anniversary. Congratulations on that. Thanks so much. Um, I'm probably going to be dropping the, the StreamYard link in the chat so people can come yeah. in and wish us a happy anniversary. And of course, I always love the Flintstone anniversary song. Happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yeah, that's I there's somebody on YouTube that not only has it shared, but they've got it looped for an hour. Oh wow. I usually just find the like the one clip and I usually send it out when people have an anniversary. There you go, there you go. Um but uh that'll lead us back to next Saturday the and Breakfast the Breakfast Club. Club. So we've got a good week coming up, and I'm sure there'll be other things popping up here and there. Always keep an eye out for like friends of the channel, like uh oh, Wolf Head Media pops up every now and then. Um, matchstick is that is there a culture fortress this week uh it's it's not culture fortress it's uh yeah you're right i to- did totally forget about that tuesday over on mr matchstick's channel uh we will be talking about uh the uh i think it was cartoon network's uh legion of the superheroes oh okay specifically i think the first dozen episodes Okay, very cool. So uh, check out um, Mr. Matchstick on Tuesday night about what time? Uh, I think that's 7.30 my time, so 8.30 your time. Okay, 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central, and then, you know, Mountain and Pacific, whatever. (laughs) Yeah, you do the math yourselves, people. (laughs) Um, I hope everyone had a lot of fun watching the show this week. I hope you enjoyed my intro. Let me know that what you think cool. of my intro. That was uh, cool. I like that a lot. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, like I said, a man with a little time on his hands and PowerPoint can come up with something like that. So I'm very pleased with that. I'm going to try to – it may morph a little bit here and there, but uh, I had fun. It was de- definitely um, – Ver, you know, version one. I'm sure of many, and I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get it so I can insert different people and uh, depending uh, on stuff. Uh, well, we'll see. That that that's just the friends, films of friends version. I have to come up with other ones now. Sure. <laughs> but uh, thank you for joining us all. Anybody have any last words? I know Ned always likes to. <laughs> well, as I always say. We can talk to most ourselves, and that's just fine. But it's so much more fun when you're here to join us. And we love hearing your trivia, your questions, you know, all of that. So thank you for joining us, because you're not just friends. You're family, too. We love you guys. That we do. That we do. I hope everyone has a wonderful Sunday. Wow, my voice, ah, my voice is starting to go. Uh, like I said, have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful week ahead. Like I said on Tuesday, think of Mama. Think of my mama and uh, think of all your mamas because no one loves you like your mama. Uh, Take care, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.